Hello guys, my name is Michelle Fonten and I'm an author, speaker, and angel card reader. And welcome to my weekly angel oracle reading for Monday, August 27th through Sunday, September 2nd, 2018. And because of a lot of things that I've been hearing and experiencing throughout the week, today we're going to focus on the Archangel Raphael healing oracle cards. So we're going to do one card for Monday, Tuesday, one card for Wednesday, Thursday, and one card for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the Archangel Raphael is known as the healing angel. He's known as the Archangel of healing relationships and bringing soulmate relationships together. And we're really going to just work on looking at what you can do to help heal your mind, body, spirit, and your relationships, especially um, your soulmate relationships or that relationship with that special someone. And we're going to look at healing this week for the week of August 27th. So I'm going to just go ahead and pick a card that the angels want us to pick out for Monday, Tuesday. And then I'm going to pick the second card for Wednesday and Thursday. Now, to keep your heart open and your space in the present moment, just go ahead and you can even say a little blessing over the cards or over your heart and just ask your angels, your guardian angels, your angel guides what you need to learn this week for the entire week. So just ask and be open to the guidance that you receive. And remember that if you're watching this video, then these angel messages are meant for you. So it doesn't matter if we're doing a universal reading. If you're tuning in, if you're listening to it, then the messages are for you. So you don't need to worry about whether or not they're for you personally. If you hear something, see something, or get something out of it, then they, in fact, are for you. So for Monday, Tuesday, we have yes. Yes, I love that word. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, last year, I went to Tony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within, which is a great weekend for becoming empowered and opening up to your personal power. And one of the words that he often said and encouraged us to say <laughs> throughout the seminar was, yes, 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 yes. And almost like a chant or an incantation and it was really super powerful. So for Monday and Tuesday, what this is saying that whatever you've been worried about in a relationship, whatever you've been worried about maybe in your health, well-being, the yoking or union together of your mind, body, soul, and spirit, that whatever it is that you're concerned about, it's like, yes, things are going to turn around. Yes, your wishes are going to come true. Yes, your health will improve. Yes, your relationships will improve. And I really love that. And it's just um, go ahead and believe in yourself, believe in your truth, and, and just know that the universe has your back with a great big yes with an exclamation point. For Wednesday, Thursday, it says use your natural healing abilities. Use your natural healing abilities. Now, I think this is such a beautiful, amazing card. As some of you know, I've been experiencing a lot of turmoil in my life. Some good news, some really bad news, some worrisome stuff, some happy stuff. And one of the things, even in being a yoga teacher, meditation teacher, alternative healthcare practitioner, is I forget that I can use my natural healing abilities to create harmony, peace, and joy in my life. So what I'm starting to go back to now is doing even more meditation. I just did an online Reiki healing session. So using energetic healing, chakra healing, the power of touch, the power of hugs, the power of love, the power of receiving love, those are all great ways to heal naturally versus taking medication, using alcohol or drugs, turning to food, turning to gambling, turning to watching TV excessively or playing video games. It's really about using your natural healing capabilities that are hardwired within 
instead of turning to outer means, outside means. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't have a healer to help you. So if you want to go get a relaxing massage or a Reiki treatment or a chakra healing treatment or going to a meditation class or a yoga class, go ahead and do it, but use your natural abilities to help yourself heal. Okay. And then for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, ooh, this is going back to your inner power. Now, I think this is just as much for me as it is for you guys. Initially, this week, I was actually going to use the Archangel Power Tarot cards because I have been feeling disempowered and I really want to work on healing my third chakra, the chakra of personal power. So what I believe is that these two cards especially, the cards for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are talking about using your own personal power. Now this one is on using your inner authority and it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. So this is all about Friday, Saturday, and Sunday taking back your personal power in order to feel empowered, listening to your intuition, listening to your inner guidance, your inner guide, and just brushing away the naysayers, the skeptics, the, the people that are saying you can't do it, or you don't have the means to do it, or you don't have the will to do it, and just listening to that inner guidance once again. So Wednesday, Thursday, you're going into that natural healing, which is going to help you have the energy to listen to that inner voice, listen to that inner intuition, because when we're all cluttered with toxins, when we're cluttered with other people's energy or negative ties, negative cords to other people, and situations and circumstances and events that are happening in your life, it can be really difficult to have the clarity to listen to your intuition. And I believe that this message is very much for me this week as well. So thank you so much for joining me. Remember that I do give angel readings. I can do them in person if you're in Southern California. I can do them via Skype or FaceTime or over the phone. I've done all of the above. You can email me at my email address below. Please subscribe to my channel below. Share this video with friends, family, and your yoga dog. And I will see you in the next video.